Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, this is Making It Happen with Mary and I am Mary. Today's video, what are we talking about? What are we talking about? I want to talk about Sugar Plum Swirl from Victoria. I'm sorry, Sugar Plum Fig from Victoria's Secret. Yes, this is a new one. It's from their gala collection that was released with a few other ones. And uh, I have some thoughts on this scent for y'all. We're going to talk about it today. We're going to do a little review, a little comparison. Break it down, baby. Break it down. All right. Sugar Plum Fig. Scent notes are sugared fig dances with cinnamon orange and rose. Hmm. I do like this scent, y'all. I am a little trip. I do like this scent. I think she is pretty. She is a unique. There is most definitely a very present plum note, which I love. But you also get the fig, which is surprising. Because a lot of times when they list fig, especially in a body spray, it doesn't come through a lot of times. But it comes through here, babe. Yes. Um, this is not a sweet scent. You do pick up a little bit of that rose. You do get a little bit of cinnamon. I don't get orange. What I mostly get is plum, fig, cinnamon, and a little bit of rose. This is pretty though. It's not a sweet scent. It's not a candied scent. It is more, um, it's kind of like an earthen type of an undertone to it. But it's pretty, yo. Definitely different for winter because it's not like that sweet, oh, like sugar plum fairy type of a vibe. But I like it. I actually like this a lot. I was, wore this quite a bit last week and I'm impressed. I do like it. I like it a lot. But some of the comparisons I saw, I was very perplexed. One of them being raspberry sugar from Bath and Body. This is the little one. Uh, they did have the big one one time, and I want to say it was Christmas of 19. It came out, I think it was 19, yeah, Christmas of 19. And it was in a big bottle, and we never saw it again except for the minis. I think it was like a Christmas or two later. And I still do have one of the mini body sprays as well as one of the mini lotions. And I don't have the scent notes for this. However, yeah, this is not the same, sis. <laughs> No, no. This has a much sweeter vibe to it than uh, Sugar Plum Fig. It, it, it's just very different. Yeah. Yeah, this is much sweeter. You definitely get a raspberry note in here. It's almost like raspberry sugary, hence the name raspberry sugar. Um, but there also is a little bit of musk in there. A musky note that makes it very pretty, but it's very different, in my opinion, from Sugar Plum Fig over here at Victoria's Secret. Oh, yeah. Yes. In fact, the more this is sitting on my skin, today, for whatever reason, I'm pulling more rose than what I did last week. Which is pretty. It's still pretty. You, would, you just wouldn't really think Sugar Plum Fig rose. You just wouldn't think that. Um, but it, raspberry sugar, no, babe, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> One that I was really wondering because I saw a review here on YouTube and the person who was talking about this was describing it in a manner that was so opposite of what I got. Like this person was claiming that this was very, very sweet, candy-esque, and I'm just kind of like, Bye bye. You okay over there? You okay, girl? You okay? You okay? Uh, because she was also comparing it to iced sugar plum from Bath and Body. This came out last winter. Again, another wonderful one we only saw once. Scent notes are sparkling sugar plum, snowdrop petals, and whipped marshmallow. I love this scent. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It is very sweet. It had, the marshmallow is very, very heavy in this scent. And you know how some scents can be so sweet, they almost give off like popcorn vibes? This is one of them. Yeah, almost like a caramel corn vibe. But you do get plum in this, which is what makes it kind of odd. I don't get floral because they list snowdrop petals. 
but I'm not picking up floral. I do get a lot of whipped marshmallow though and like that uh, caramely corn type of a vibe, but with plum. It's the oddest combination, but I love it. Very, very sweet, very decadent. This is not sweet. No, honey, it's not. Not at all, not at all. Like totally different end of the spectrum. No, 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 no. A last one that I saw, and this was on Instagram, they were comparing it to Pink Velvet Cupcake. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Pink Velvet Cupcake. Um, that was interesting <laughs> because the scent notes on Pink Velvet Cupcake are sparkling red berries, whipped pink marshmallows, and sugared praline. There's no floral listed in here. Yeah. No, this is out of, out of all the ones I'm talking about right now, this is probably the sweetest, even sweeter in ways than iced sugar plum. I mean, this is really sweet and decadent, but pink velvet cupcake, baby. Oh my God, it's so good. This is another one from Bath and Body that we'll probably never see again. Probably not. This one was from, when was this from? Let's see. 2019, bro. Damn. I do have the lotion still for her too. Mm, bye bye. Yeah, oh my God, this is so good. And you definitely get those marshmallow notes as well as praline, which makes this gorgeous. But then you still get like these berry notes in there, which to me are like raspberry, blackberry type of notes. But they're more in the background, but they're just enough that they're noticeable. Oh, but then the, the, oh God, the praline and the marshmallow in this is gorgeous. Yeah, I really love this fragrance, but in comparison to this, no, y'all, no, 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 no. Like, this is just so not sweet like that. It is sexy. I will give it the sexiness, and as it sat even longer on my skin, the rose has kind of died down just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit, so I'm getting kind of like that fig with a little bit of cinnamon. But it's a, I do like this scent. It is just not like what you're thinking it's going to smell like. Like sugar plum fig, you are going, you are, your mind automatically kind of thinks, okay, this is going to be like a sugar plum fragrance, like really sweet. No, it's not. It's deeper, it's sexier. I like it. Uh, I highly suggest you get your sniffle on her because... As odd as it is with their descriptions and the scent names, I still think they're worth a smell. So please go give this a sniff if you have not already. And if you have, drop a comment and let me know what you thought. I really want to know what you guys think. Did you like this? Did you not like it? Were you pissed because it didn't smell sweet? Let me know. And uh, you guys know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, and ding the bell so you're alerted every single time your girl uploads. And uh, I will see you in the next one. All right, you guys. Bye-bye.